Meanwhile, Ian Gige Njoroge, the motorist captured on camera assaulting a traffic police officer, has today been arraigned facing six charges, including robbery with violence. Njoroge refuted all allegations leveled against him. He is set to return to court Wednesday for bail application hearing for the first three charges. And in an exclusive with KTN Investigation Desk, Ian's mother has opened up a whole new story, claiming that the altercation was necessitated by a purported demand of 10,000 shillings bribe. Our very own investigative reporter, Ode Francis, with that detailed report. The 19-year-old Ian Ngige Njoroge became a subject of public discourse over the weekend after his violent encounter with a traffic officer on Mirema Drive, Kasarani, Nairobi County. <laughs> Today he stood before the court on six counts, including robbery with violence, robbing off the officer's communication device battery and a Samsung phone valued at 50,000 shillings. Additionally, charges were leveled against him for resisting arrest and inflicting injuries on officer Jacob Ogendo. Njoroge maintained his innocence on all the six counts before senior principal magistrate Ben Makehubi and Martha Nanzoshi. So I'll not grant them the three days they assault, I'll grant them only one day. He should be accompanied by a parent and also at all times he should be given access to his counsel yeah, so that uh, we, we can curtail or stop any, any form of, uh, of an injustice to, towards it or infringement of his right. So then he will be reminded that it's an industrial area. The viral footage shows Ian Gige Njoroge launching an attack on a traffic police officer, delivering a series of punches and kicks on Mirema Drive in Kasarani. Shortly thereafter, he faced Judge Martha Nanzushi on three separate traffic-related charges, including causing obstruction, overloading his vehicle, and defying a government official's directive. To give us a bond of 100,000 shillings, one priority, a similar amount. The alternative gives a cash bill of 60,000 shillings. Njoroge's legal team, including Duncan Okach and Lempaso Yinka, argue that their client was mishandled during his apprehension. But they actually arrest, uh, molested him in his own house, in the house of the mother, that he fainted two times at that particular house. Your Honor, at the police station, he went through an ordeal of beating. KTN News managed to interview Njoroge's mother, who contends that the portrayal of her son on the internet is a stark contrast to reality. I was so, so heartbroken. And all I saw was uh, flying squad cars outside my gate. And uh, in shock, I went inside and I found policemen folding my boy down. And when I asked why they are folding him down, they showed me a video and told me, this, your boy is a murderer, he's a robber, he wanted to kill this man, this man is in the ICU, and he's very sick. Njoroge, employed by his uncle, allegedly flaunted traffic regulations while driving his mother's car at the Mirema Drive, where he had ventured out with friends. He told me he was uh, asked for 10,000, which he didn't have. He told the police he can raise five. And he refused even that five. His mother asserts that her son is well behaved and that an extraordinary circumstance must have provoked the incident captured on video. Something must have happened to that boy to make him that agitated. Because for the longest, because he's my son, I have never seen him angry to that level. He's very friendly with his brothers and sisters, very obedient to me. Known among his peers and family, Ian attended Sunshine Boys High School before joining the prestigious Kenya Technical College took to pursue civil engineering. Currently in his first year, an avid football enthusiast, Ian is also recognized for his culinary skills at home. Speaking from a, uh, uh, like a mother, a mother who has been uh, hurting, one, because of seeing how the, the boy has trended in a negative way, I want to apologize first of all and say what he did was not right. You are, he was not supposed to beat that man. And I agree, and I already told him that was wrong. But at the same time, Kenyans, please, it is very wrong to say things that you don't know. How can you say he was arrested at his girlfriend's house? Am I his girlfriend? I'm his mother. He is slated for a medical evaluation while awaiting his next court appearance on Wednesday. Police must handle Ian's case just like any other case. And they must not intimidate the family or come up with fake charges because a police officer was involved. We are asking that I power 
comes and joins themselves into this matter and follows through because we see elements of complacency. We see elements of cover-up. We see the intention of the police to, you know, to put, uh, put up trumped up charges against Ian as a way of punishment. We are saying that the police can only do what the law allows them to do and allow other institutions of justice to take up the matter in their own level.